also a port so lots happening here in our house lots to see plenty to do but right now we're gonna watch the badminton which is happening in our house as well the total energies thomas bwf thomas and uber cups uh, we're on court two between thailand and scotland we're into the final matchup uh, which is a women's singles Kitayak on Taiwan against Lauren Middleton is the final singles matchup. The players walking on shortly. Thailand's Pitya upon Taiwan, just 20 years age. Gonna play the final women's singles rubber here in the Uber Cup. There comes the drum in support. Smiles all around because Thailand are currently leading 4-0 in this tie and will be looking for a clean sweep against Scotland. Not though if Lauren Middleton can help it. She is representing Scotland making her debut in the Uber Cup. It will be her first ever Uber Cup match and what a big occasion it is for her at 21 years of age. Players walk on court, getting ready to get this final matchup and going in Group B. The first meeting between the two, it's uh, obviously not surprising so much. Lauren Middleton still sort of working her way up the ranks. And that's the toss of the coin there. Got to pick red or black, is what the empire says. Cornelia Somerville joins me on the co-commentary seat. She is, of course, Australian national, represented Australia at the Uber Cup. She was there in 2018, so she knows a lot about what's going on on the courts here in Denmark. In fact, I'm pretty sure she wants to be on the courts <laughs> here in Denmark. Precisely, but I'm... <laughs> I'm happy to settle for commentating right now and it has been really enjoyable to follow this match. We've had some good matches through the women's singles and just now the women's doubles finishing up and the final tie here about to get underway. It certainly has been confident showing from Thailand so far. They've won all their matches in straight games and uh, I don't, while I don't think it matters in how many games they win it, I'm sure Pitya Pon Chai Wan will be looking to win it nonetheless. She's 20 years old, 164 centimeters tall, 31 in the world right now. She's reached the highest of 29. Still young, still climbing up the ranks. She's born in Lampang, Thailand. Chai Wan, so she will certainly be looking to make a mark here so she can become a permanent fixture in the Thai setup, especially in the team events. Lauren Middleton, she's 21 years of age, 179 centimeters tall, so she's a tall lady, ranked 527 in the world, born in Dundee, Scotland. Her highest ranking has been 472. So again, contrasting rankings there, but not that much of a concern. Both women will be obviously looking to just do well in this match. I think that's the aim, aim of the game. George and John, the service umpire and uh, service judge, is Evo Castle. It'll be the officials in this match. The players warming up and getting ready to start the match. It is going to be interesting, this one. It's the battle of the young ones, if we want to call it that. Yeah, it's great to see the next gen starting to, you know, get welcomed onto the world to a circuit but as we as we have seen um chai Wan has done really well in the world juniors in 2019 so has excelled in the world juniors and now is continuing to excel in the seniors yeah she was the bronze medalist of the world junior championships in 2019 and given that um you know we've not had much badminton in 2020 to a certain extent in 2021 it's quite nice to see her back on court, uh, hoping to revive 
that sort of momentum she had gained in 20, in 2019 because she had also sort of finished runner-up at Said Modi in 2019, losing to Carolina Marin in straight games in the final. So she was really having some momentum in her game. And then with the stop and start season last year and this year, it's obviously put things to a halt, but she'll be looking to get firing very quickly. Yeah, she's gonna be hot on the heels of the other Thai girls within the team. Ladies so I'm sure they'll need to watch their backs. <laughs> Thailand, represented by Kitty Amor Chaiwan. And Romela, Scotland, represented by Lauren Middleton. So here we go, Lauren Middleton to serve to Pitaya Porn Chaiwan. We can really see if that um, around the head cross kind of snapshot is a signature, a true signature of the Thai women singles girls. <laughs> <laughs> and just as you say yeah. that. <laughs> it's like I'm an oracle or something. I don't know how I do it. <laughs> that is brilliant. That is absolutely fantastic calling from Gronje Tomamil. <laughs> Honestly, I think I think a little bit of credit needs to go to the players here. <laughs> Just a little bit. I'll take the rest. But it certainly is a, a skill set that they have mastered. The Thai women singles. Maybe after us talking about it so much, it'll be something that these Scottish women singles players focus on a little bit more and can, you know, use it back at the, the Thai girls in the future. Absolutely. So, Pichai Chai Chaiwan has uh, played this year. She's got some matches under her belt. She did not play in the Suriname Cup, of course, but she did play at All England and the Spain Masters this year, so she has come back into action as, a, uh, as such. But again, that was way back in, you know, March, February, March, so it's a long gap between then and now. And uh, playing on, on tour against different opponents, the experience of that, there's nothing like it. She did play the Sudaman Cup, I take it back. She played against Finland. So she has got one match under her belt. Being so young, I think she's she would definitely be a focus, um, you know, within the Thai contingent to develop, and that's probably why she was also part of the Sudaman Cup team, even though they have a lot of women singles girls. They'll be definitely looking to develop her over the next few years. Nice control at the net by Lauren. rally but Lauren was just a little bit outclassed in the end. She did well to stay with it though. 23 shots that rally. The longest in the game so far. 7-4 now and that is challenged by Chaiwan. It is called out so and I'm not going to take a call on this anymore. <laughs> I'm going to let... You're learning your lesson. Let Hawkeye do it. That's, two days is enough, I think. <laughs> that's in. So that's well challenged by Pitaya Pon Chaiwan. So that is now in. So she is now up 8-4 in this first game. 8-4. Play.
Just fantastic net game there from Chai Wang. Lauren just hitting a little bit too much to the middle there, not making Chai Wang have to work for it, so she was able to work Lauren. Bit of a miss hit. She got there in time though, but she just couldn't find her shot, her range. So 10 4, Chai Wan leading in this first game. Great there shot. You go. Lovely drop shot. 11 4, six point cushion for Pitapon Chai Wan. And Thailand looking good here. in this fifth and final match of the tie. I think the Scottish coach might be, you know, telling her to just keep making the court big and really try and work her around the, the whole court. You heard him say, try to push her out and then step in. That's what he was trying to say there. So, Five, Lauren Middleton looking for the comeback. Oh, a bit high with the block there. Chai so, so, unable to get five, on top of that too easily. Oh, she was trying to go for the kill shot, unfortunately. Right idea. She just needs to keep going for those. She probably rushed that shot too much. Oh. <laughs> Not I'm much of an <laughs> I think that was out, but there. She didn't no. have much of an option. She had kind of given up and had to leave it. <laughs> Lucky it was. It was out. That was out. Chowan really taking controls of control of the rallies here. Oh. Again, the right idea. She's going for the net roll, and like you said, it's a it's a lot of practice to get that right, and. Uh, Might need a bit more practice. <laughs> no. She's nothing, doing very well. Uh, nothing comes easy, <laughs> yeah. unfortunately. And now it's 14-7. It's a seven-point lead in this first game. Chai Wan running away with it a bit. Again, great shot. Lovely cross court smash from Chai Wan. And there you go. The cheering squad is on for Team Thailand. Little tambourine. Taiwan following that net shot up nicely, really putting the pressure on Lauren there to have to hit a, a really high quality net back if she was to get it over. Great smash down the line. Good job on Taiwan. Playing with a lot of confidence at the moment. It's a 10 point game. That was a rare mistake from the Thai player at the net. The shuttle got on top of the net, looked like it thought about it, and then just came back.
Try one maybe, just losing focus a little bit here. Yep, it's the closing stages of the game. Oh, lovely neck. Lovely, lovely drop shot. Yeah. She had the, she, you know, with the backhand, she set it up really well. Yeah, had a lot of options there at the end. And then just showed her nice soft touch, taking the pace out. She was going for the same overhead cross card smash again. She was. Didn't quite go her way. And this is where she, she has that buffer where she can take these risks. But it's also this kind of errors that if she kind of gets into the habit of it will prove, you know, crucial if she's playing against a higher level opponent. Yeah. And, you know, being so young, it's good to really get in that habit of keeping the focus for when those big matches do present themselves. Lauren did well there to keep herself in play. Yeah, definitely is Chaiwan that's controlling these points. Lauren is a little bit on the defensive, just fighting to get it back. So it'd be good if she can, you know, counter a little bit and pack a bit of a punch back at Chaiwan. If you look for the counters, let's stretch her again. Be early at the net, use And that is out. So it's an unsexual challenge by Peter Bon Chaiwan. Just still had a challenge remaining. Service over. 20, Play. Oh, great aggression from Chaiwan there to set up game point 2012. Got eight game points. It was nice to see Lauren try to mix it up there with the, the cross court counter, which I think her, her coach was telling her to do. So good to see she's following instructions. Again, an aggressive attacking play from Pitepo and Chaiwan means that it's 21 12 in this first game to Thailand, and she's done really well, kept her calm, kept her focus, and uh, played really well overall in this match so far, Peter Brown Chaiwan. Lauren Middleton with some work to do in this second game. And I'm sure her coaches will be, the coaches, both the coaches actually, will be telling them the things that are not working for them and where they could change it up in the second game coming up. There you go, the score there, showing it took 11 minutes for Pitya Bon Chai Wan to get the better of Lauren Middleton in that first game. She just has to continue doing the, much of the same in that second. Yeah, I think she's doing really well, taking control of the points, and just needs to keep up her speed and focus to continue keeping the pressure on Lauren. Meanwhile, Laura needs to obviously try and take control of the points herself by making the court big, trying to find the corners a little bit more, stretch, try one out, and then bring in some angles, you know, and change of speed within the rally, as opposed to kind of just following Chai Wan and trying to keep up with what she's coming at her with. The umpire has called 20 seconds on court two. Time for the coaches to get back to their seats, the players to get back onto the court. And uh, Chai Wan will serve to Lauren in the second game, Double. having taken the first game 21 12. Shot there, nice cross net. That's out, unfortunately.
again, really well played, good control being shown by Chawan in the second game. Uh, how did she save that? <laughs> she stick the racket up and pray. <laughs> yeah, she put her head down yeah. and ready to concede, but she managed to save that. Again, lovely shot from Chai Wan, Vijay from Chai Wan. Just great drop shot across the net. Five love now, the tie leads. It's just a bit too short there on the clear. Clear shot from Lauren. Chai Wan having too many options. Just not getting there in time, Lauren Middleton. Thailand in good spirits. Rwanda has the drum going. <laughs> they are such a high energy group. They have a lot of fun, I think, as a team. Yep. And uh, musical as well. Yeah. You see quite often on the social media, singing songs and... Dancing. Yeah. Hey, no. Eight love now to pitch up on Chai Wan. She's kind of running away with this. Lauren Middleton struggling, one would have to say, to cope. She's got to find her focus again because the shots are just going to keep coming at her. Yeah, it's definitely hard to try and find answers when the opponent can kind of just, you know, bring back these great shots. It's 11 now, now. Chaiwan, well in the lead, looking good, looking comfortable on the court there at this uh, mid game break in the second game 11 love up having taken the first game 21 12. Yeah. thailand of course have uh, a great history in the uber cup uh, you know it goes way back to 1966 when they first played and uh, they took part in the qualifying rounds to eventually lose to Japan 7-0. And since then, they have consistently made the Uber Cup, and not all tournaments, but uh, you know, in 69, 72, they've been there, 84, 88. From 2012 onwards, they've made every Uber Cup. 2012, they lost to the semi-finals to China, 3-0. 2014, to the quarterfinals. 2016, in the quarterfinals. And 2018, of course, in the finals. So, Chai Wan, to try and continue this glorious Thai tradition in the Uber Cup, as uh, play resumes. And Lauren here just really needs to try and kind of stay steady and just try and get a point on the scoreboard here. But Chai Wan is not giving her much opportunity. She's just completely controlling the game now. Yeah, her coach telling her not to be too passive or, or too scared of what Chai Wan's going to play and just step up and kind of be a bit braver in going for her own things. Uh, working her beautifully around the court, pushing her to the back, coming in with the, the cross nets, really not giving Lauren much opportunity to take control there. How hard is it then to sort of find your game in a situation like this? You're love 14 down, you know, nothing's working for you. You're kind of caught up in all of that. How hard is it to find your game? Yeah, I mean, it's really a struggle with a scoreboard um, pressure kind of like that. You want to, like, you know, as a such a young player, it'd be good to for her to kind of develop the maturity over time to, you know, just reset. Even 
something I use these days is to think of a 0-0 zero, zero scoreline and just try and imagine like the match is starting and you know it's not it's not what it is this big deficit but there you see she's got on the scoreboard which is nice albeit still behind by 14 points Oh, the back end again, sublime, just effortless. It just feels that everything is going Chai Wan's way right now. The shots she's trying to make, just coming off the racket so nicely. Yeah, I think at this point Lauren has nothing to lose. She just needs to take some risks and try and set up her own plays when she can. Just go for some shots. Oh my oh, gosh. Wow. <laughs> That was great recovery from Fritja from Chaiwan. You thought she'd lost the point there. Oh, lovely she was, round and back. <laughs> she was wondering whether she should let it go, but she got it. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. Lauren just needs to keep fighting here to the end and just give it everything. It's really easy to, to get disheartened with a scoreline like this, but you feel a lot better walking off the court knowing you kept going right until the end and you didn't really give up. Just three points away now, get up on Taiwan from sealing this tie for Thailand. It really has been an impressive showing by Team Thailand here on court two in this tie. Coach just trying to encourage her now, I'm sure. Help her get her confidence back. That's another point in the bag. She's gonna take it point by point, Lauren Middleton, at this stage. She's got nothing to lose. Just try and put her best foot forward. Uh, oh, wow. Lovely reverse push by Chaiwan there. Just finding the line and it's now match point. What a way to get to match point. 23. Nice. Total domination there by Chaiwan in the second set. Really impressive to see the composure and control she kept throughout that whole second game. 21-12, 21-3. The final score there, as the umpire just said, she was in a rush in the end there. Wanted to wrap it up, maybe get back in time for lunch. Yes, and I'm sure her teammates would also appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> so Thailand doing really well today on court two in their first Group B match, winning it five zip. Uh, up on Chai Wan, sealing the deal for the Thai team. And off they go in the Uber Cup. We've got two more group matches to come, of course, later in the week. But this was the start they would have wanted. Players walking off the court. And just to re-look at that match point there. Just lovely net play from Peter Point Chai Wan. Gliding the shuttle again and uh, doing it sublimely to seal the match for Thailand. So, that is the result, 21-12, 21-3 in 19 minutes, the fastest game of this session, Peter Pon Chai Wan, winning it for Thailand. Just a recap of that 5-0 win for Thailand, Ponpawi Chochuwong defeating Kirsty Gilmore, 21-16, 21-10, and then, of course, in the women's doubles, we saw Jungkopan Kitatarakul and Rubinda Prajangjoy beating Julie McPherson and Kiara Torrance, 21-13, 21-17. Busanan Ongbang Rumpan then made it 3-0 for Thailand, beating Rachel Sugden, 21-8, 21-11. Before the second women's double of Purita Supajirakul and Sapsuri Tara Tanachai defeated Rachel Andrew and Eleanor O'Donnell, 21-8, 21-10. And then, of course, the match we just saw so on court two, Peter Pon Chai Wan finishing Lauren Middleton off in two straight games.
And so, coming up in the afternoon session is Uber Cup Group D match between 14-time champions China and Southeast Asian giants in Malaysia. So, stay tuned here for more Core 2 coverage action.